Hi everyone. <laughs> so it has been a while since I posted a video. I think it's been like a month ish. I don't know. I have a vlog already filmed and edited and like ready to upload, but I felt weird not doing like I don't know. I just I like to give you guys an explanation as to like what nobody cares. Literally no one cares. But at least for me and like organizing my videos, I kinda like to have like I don't know. I like to update you on what has been going on because there's a lot that has happened. I was like so ready, like right after we got back from vacation, I was like vlogging every day and everything was going well. And then I ended up getting really sick and then it was just this whole thing. So we're gonna update you on all of that. Also, I burned myself with a curling iron yet again, so that's what that is. There's like a weird echo going on right now, and I'm not really happy about it, but it's fine. It's also so hot today, and it makes me so happy. So I had you guys ask me questions on my Instagram story. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I have been posting on there a lot more, so it's at Sarah Elizabeth. The Elizabeth is like spelled kind of weird. Um, first one, where have you been? Why haven't you been posting? Are you going to start posting again? All of those kinds of questions. Um, we got back from vacation. It was so fun. Everything was great. We get back. I just had a bunch of like random schoolwork to catch up on. We got our first COVID vaccine. I didn't have like, we didn't have any reaction to it, which is really nice. And then I got my period, which normally, like my mom had endometriosis, so I get pretty like we think I might have endometriosis too because I get like really bad periods my cramps are really awful I'm used to bad periods and like bad period cramps this was like next level like I was like sitting over the toilet throwing up and I like passed out because I was like there was it was so much pain um and then I was just like my stomach was all messed up and I was just like n a nervous mess all the time so that was like really that was like a week straight of like normally my periods only last like four or five days it was a solid week of every single day I woke up feeling like I was gonna pass out really bad cramps dizzy all the time nauseous felt like I was gonna throw up um really really bad so that was like a full week and then the full week after that my stomach was just so messed up I was like like I had taken so much pain medication that like my gut was all screwed up and it was just like awful. So then I was sick for probably a total of like two weeks. And towards the end of my second week, I had this like complete freak out one night because I was so nervous about like getting sick again. So I had this like, like worst panic attack I've ever had in my life. Also keep in mind during all of this, I have been off of like antidepressants, anti-anxiety, that sort of stuff. I ran out of my new medication that I was trying that like screwed with my head anyway, so that's fine. So I haven't been on anything for like three months, but I was like doing fine. Like nothing was off or weird or what. If you're new, I'm very open about my like mental health and whatever. I've been on medication for the past five years, I want to say. Um, so this is my first time going like without anything in a while, but I was like completely f Sun, come back. I was like completely fine for that whole three months, so I wasn't like, because I've been working on like different coping mechanisms. I've been doing a lot of like self-help, yoga, coping mechanisms, all that different stuff. Um, so I was like doing good. I was able to like manage the things going on in my head. So what I didn't realize was that a lot of the symptoms I was having were like physical manifestations of my anxiety in my body. Even though I like had control of it in my head, it was coming out in my body. Um, which just goes to show that like anxiety is a chemical imbalance. Like I, I was so happy. I wasn't getting anxious about like, like I was conquering all of these fears. I was not sad. I was able to like control the thoughts in my head, but that chemical imbalance in my brain was causing my body to have these like indigestion reactions and like fatigue and all of these different things. Um, that were like coming out in my body simultaneously while my period was happening and it just like it was a lot going on at one time and so I ended up going to the doctor and I literally thought that I was like I thought I was dying <laughs> I was not but he had me run a but like cuz you know I'm a little bit of a hypochondriac my doctor is also very overly cautious so he had like <laughs> he's like so this is not necessary however for your peace of mind, state of mind, just to kind of like chill you out a little bit, I want to run like pretty much every single test you possibly could to prove to me that there was like nothing wrong with me and that these symptoms that I was having was one, a bad period, but two, it was just these physical manifestations of anxiety. So, so I spent a week of just 
like doctor's appointments and going to the hospital and getting like all of these scans done and blood work and tests run um all of it came back negative although i have polyps on my gallbladder unrelated but concerning uh <laughs> said it's nothing to worry about so we're not gonna worry about it but long story short he started me on a new antidepressant that it's thank god for Celexa. I have tried so many different and this is too like this is for me been a five-year journey of trying to figure out the different like medications like some of them work for me some of them like the last one I was on made me go into like a complete in like I wouldn't eat anything it was really really bad so it it's taken me a long time and I feel like this is finally the med that's like working for me because I feel so happy i don't feel dulled out i don't feel like this groggy what i have so much energy i feel like rejuvenated and excited about just living and like i'm a completely different person right now than i w i mean i change all the time i'm a different person every week but i've had like a 180 turn around from the past like three weeks so it's very, it's very very exciting um, yeah, that was the main reason that was the past like four, five weeks of my life. We're back, we're on a new med, we're doing good. I also have another medication for my indigestion issue. Did you, like, I didn't realize how, and I'm like, the only reason I'm going into detail about this is because I know a lot of you guys also struggle with mental health, um, and it just... I had no idea that it was coming out in my body in the way that it was. Like, I've had stomach problems for a long time, just like, oh, really? the lighting is just being obnoxious. I've had stomach problems for a long time of just like, like feeling really nauseous or like after I eat, I get really sick or like food just like passes right through me. And part of it is because I don't have like the best eating, and especially like this past winter, it was I was sad and I wasn't eating anything and it was just a whole situation. Um, I thought, I thought it was that, like, I thought my, just, I thought my gut was screwed up, or my microbiome, or whatever, but it literally turned out that, as I've, I think this is, this is my third week on the new medication, and, like, my stomach problems have decreased exponentially because of this new antidepressant that I'm on. I don't feel like I'm gonna, like, pass out anymore. I don't feel, like, it was just, it was coming out in my body in all of these different ways that I just, I didn't attribute to anxiety. So, if you identify with any of this at all, or you feel like, oh my god, that's like me, like, why does my stomach hurt randomly all the time? Um, I would highly suggest going to your doctor and just, like, talking about it and asking questions about, like, could this possibly be symptoms coming from anxiety, anything I can do about it, because so nice just waking up and just not being in like pain not like it was even that bad but you know what i mean okay long story short that's why i was gone we're back it is also my summer officially so i've been daily vlogging for the past week i'm going to continue daily vlogging um but it'll be in like like weekly kind of vlogs or like a few days in my life also you know like the beginning of summer t like i don't have any self tanner or anything on right now but like my hands are not you know like this Versus that. Okay, next question. What are your goals slash plans for the summer? P.S. I love you. Oh, you guys make me so happy. There's also 7,000 of you now, which is insane. It happened so quick. Um, yeah, hi, if you're new. <laughs> Welcome. Okay, goals, plans for the summer. I just want to live life feeling just free and happy and I don't want anything weighing me down. I have adopted this like lifestyle way of living where I've been able to change, there's gonna be a whole video coming about this because it's literally changed my life. I've been able to completely shift my mindset, shift the way I think, shift the things I do in my everyday life. Um, and it has changed me as a person along with like this new medication that I'm going on for my anxiety. I feel like this summer I'm going to be able to finally like live my life the way I want to live it, if that makes sense. Like beach every day and I start with my kids that I nanny for in a week. And I'm just so, I'm just so excited to like live the life that I've been excited about living. I'm excited to just like vlog every single day. I've decided that this summer, when I first started vlogging, it was like six years ago. I didn't like post them at all for like the first like four years of it. Um, 
but when I first started it was summer vlogs and I just I would vlog every single day and it didn't matter what I was doing but I would always just whip out my camera and it was so much fun and I just want to go back to that sense of organic content that is just so real and I feel like I've gotten trapped in this sort of like if it's not pretty I can't post it um, which yes I love making beautiful aesthetically pleasing content that is not going to stop it is a part of who I am as a person and I like literally don't think I can't not do it if that makes sense I just want to focus a lot more on like capturing the experiences that I'm having and the things I'm doing and places I'm going rather than worrying about like if it looks cute I'm not going to film it. So I just want to go back to a very like organic raw type of video type of vlog. So that's a big goal for the summer is to just vlog all the time and be so excited. I also want to make a lot more like style related videos but a lot more emphasis on making content that I really really enjoy and taking beautiful pictures and not like staging things I guess. That's something that I've been working on so much and I've gotten so good at is just letting go and releasing and just letting whatever happens happens and just going with the flow. Um, so that's that's my goal is to like let go of the reins a little bit. Okay what do you think about the law of attraction? Literally has changed my life. Um, it's actually funny I did my thesis in English this year on the law of attraction. I don't like go about using it the way most other people do. Like I'm not going to think about like traveling to Italy and plane tickets right now aren't just going to like fall on my lap. I look at the law of attraction more as like I'm going to train my mind to think in this specific positive way and because I'm thinking in that way I'm going to be more open to experiences and to opportunities that are going to align with my belief system, my values, my goals. Which since I've started doing that I have noticed a huge change in my life. I see so many different signs every day. I see angel numbers all the time. I see just random like songs will come on or like someone will say something to me. Or like one of the, um, I work in a Montessori school and my teacher that taught me when I was in preschool is still there still at the school that I'm working at. So we're both very, very spiritual people and we just have these really incredible conversations about this stuff and like we'll come in, we'll come into school or we'll be talking about something and it's just, she'll say something that's like I feel like is a sign from the universe or just diff. I don't know, it's... It's crazy once you start getting into your spirituality and discovering more about the universe and the way that it works, how open and receptive you become to these different things. It's crazy. And like I said, I've had a ton of different experiences recently um, that have just kind of like pushed me a little bit to like go deeper into, I don't know. So like I personally think law of attraction lies a lot in your spirituality, your connectivity to your heart, to your soul, to the people around you and just being open to new experiences, open to new situations and just kind of like forcing yourself to experience fear. Um, but that's my take. On, I don't think it's like a, like, I don't know. I think positive affirmations are great. I don't use them a whole lot. Um, but I think I'm going to make a whole video on Law of Attraction because it's like a, it's a loaded topic. Okay, I had to move the camera because I needed to delete some stuff off my memory card. Not a question, but you've got me completely hooked on the Strawberry Assay Refresher. It's so good, and you know what I'm really upset about? They started to, like at least at the Starbucks is near me, they put it up on like the menu so you can see a picture of it and now my well like not my starbucks my starbucks normally has it but like the one that i go to before work never has it anymore because everyone's ordering it okay what is the biggest challenge you overcame in your life um i would probably i mean i haven't had like a ton of like existential i've had a lot of like crises but not like big life like I would probably say just dealing with mental health and living life with different anxiety disorders and clinical depression um it's tough so just dealing with that sort of like 
I don't know because I'm like you can see my platform and like the comments that I get the most are like oh my gosh you're just such a light you're this ray of sunshine you radiate this amazing energy which is like those are one those are my favorite comments to get because that it's like my whole goal is just like make other people happy and make other people feel good I mean I've been dealing with like uncontrollable anxiety like for as long as I can remember I wasn't clinically diagnosed until like seven years ago and then I went on meds five years ago it's been such like a emotional and just mentally draining roller coaster some you know I've been on a ton of different medications and I've tried all of these different things and like in and out of therapy and like when like seasonal depression is like really really bad 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 time for me so just living with that on an everyday basis I think is the biggest challenge but I think I'm final hopefully fingers crossed I mean it's never gonna go away I know that I know it's gonna be I saw a TikTok the other day that was like the girl was sobbing and she's like I just came to the realization that I'm never going to be okay and that I'm gonna have to take a pill every morning to feel normal which kind of sucks when you think about it but I mean it's like anything else it's a chemical imbalance in your mind I mean it's like a chemical imbalance in your body it is a chemical imbalance in your body it's like I take a heart medication for a heart condition I have so it's like it's whatever I think I'm hopefully finally at a place where I feel like I have overcome the worst of it and I've completely shifted my lifestyle and the way that I live and the way that I think um which another video on that coming because it's like the greatest thing in the entire world that I've been able to just completely change my life but now I feel like I'm finally on the right track and that it, it can only go up from I mean obviously I'm gonna have low points and down points but I don't think I'm ever gonna have that sort of like I jinx myself I feel like I've gotten over the hill <laughs> who knows what my future has to hold for me and my mental health um, you have a P.O. Box. P.S. I love your videos. You have such a sweet and genuine soul. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I do not have a P.O. Box, although I feel like I should get one because it's so weird. I've been doing a lot more, like, as you've noticed, um, I've been working with a lot more brands, and I feel like it's weird to give them, like, my home address. Like, I know no one's gonna come to my house and, like, kill me, but it still feels, like, weird. Got my address to, like, other people. I don't know. Um, so maybe, maybe I'll get a P.O. Box. How to weigh moving away for a better weather versus leaving family behind? I'm scared. <laughs> Me too. I get really, really bad separation anxiety from my mom. It's been like that ever since I was little. Whenever I'm it, like I know when my body's in like a really, really like anxious mode i drift closer to my mom and like whenever i was little and i would get nerve like before i was terrified of going to school like it was so like paralyzing to me when i was little so i would be in like first grade and just so incredibly anxious about going to school so i would like follow my mom around the house like while she was doing wash but like i used to sit outside of the bathroom while she was showering because i just did like Something about my mom just is very comforting to me, but I've been doing that recently like I'll find myself like like she'll be carrying something upstairs and like I'll follow her upstairs or like she'll be She'll be like folding wash upstairs So then I'll grab the vacuum and like vacuum by her so I can just be like around her or like last night I went out with my friends and I was like nervous because I was like, oh my gosh What's my like I want to be with my mom right now. Like what am I? Do it's bizarre I've been like thinking about that a lot recently I was like oh my god I'm making this like huge move across the country and it's gonna be a really like nerve-wracking time what am I gonna do when my mom leaves and like the rest of my family leaves so I I don't know I think it ultimately for me at least it comes down to it's all about choices right our lives are all about these different choices that we make i can't grow anymore in the place that i've like grown up right like i feel like i've done all of my growing here and i've kind of reached my peak i'm destined to be like up here and i just i can't move past that living where i am right now and living with my family so i think there comes there comes a point when you have to kind of take a step back look at your life and think about like the things that you want to do and think about all like we have endless possibilities um so kind of thinking about that i just know that for me for me at least 
I have to be like, like it's got to be extremes. Like I can't go away to school like 30 minutes away from where I live because I know for a fact I'm going to be, even if I live there, I will be driving back every single day to come like sleep at my house. Um, so for me, I have to completely remove myself from a situation and put myself into a new situation in order to detach and to grow. So that's my biggest thing. I think the weather is secondary to that. Everyone's always like, oh, Charleston, why do you want to go there? And like my automatic answer is the weather because I mean, it's warm all the time. I think thinking about it more, I realized that it wasn't as much about the weather as it was needing to continue on with my life. And just knowing that like I can't grow anymore where I'm at. I have to like go out and explore and experience different things and new people and be on my own. Um, so I think that that's a, that's a big part of it. Yeah, I don't, there's like, for me this is the first step because I, we were playing Who's Most Likely To last night with my friends and it was like Who's Most Likely To Travel The World and everyone looked at me and I was like, yeah. But I think in order to get to that place, I have to make the first step, which is leaving home, which is going to be really, really tough. But also in today's day and age, like we have FaceTime. Like I was at a wedding shower the other day and I have cousins that live in Spain and they couldn't be here for the wedding, but, or they couldn't be here for the wedding shower because of like COVID restrictions and whatever. But we were literally like FaceTiming with them while the wedding shower was going on. So it was like they were there with us. So I think especially with new technology and everything like that, it's a lot easier to be connected to people and to be 2,000 miles away but still feel like you're with someone in the same room. That's something to think about too. But I'm, yeah, I, it's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. But I also know once I get there and once I get my feet wet a little bit, I'll, I'll, we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be okay. Okay, where do you get your aesthetic inspiration from? Pinterest. Honestly, my aesthetic has really boiled down to like the things that I actually like. So I think for a long time, especially in your like teenage years, you're kind of trying different things and new styles and just you're kind of feeling out the waters of like what you want your personal like aesthetic and style to be and like the things that you like. And I've tried some like model off duty for a while and just like modern, new, your farm, like all of these different things I tried and none of it, all of it was like I was doing it to be like someone else. But the second that I started picking out like clothes that I like and decorating my room the way that like I like and that I feel resembles me as a person that's that's when my like aesthetic kind of started to fall into place because I was like putting on clothes that I felt like me and not that I was trying to feel like someone else if that makes sense however with that being said um Mamma Mia huge source of aesthetic inspiration for me um Pinterest I don't know I think it takes a while to kind of find your groove your vibe um but like finding a movie that you like I normally look at comfort movies and like normally your comfort movie is kind of like your vibe your aesthetics so, like my comfort movies are call me by your name Mamma Mia one and two Pirates of the Caribbean and all of those kind of have a similar vibe to them you know like European warm weather tropical summery beachy like oceans, boats, that sort of thing. That all aligns with like me and my vibe and my aesthetic. So, so that's where I get a lot of my inspiration from is like my favorite like comfort movies, but then also Pinterest. That's how I kind of pull my aesthetic. Just like things that make me feel like me. <laughs> Who's your favorite YouTuber? I used to watch so much YouTube and I just like don't anymore. <laughs> I would say probably Olivia Jade, but not like her, like her videos now are like good, but I loved her old vlogs from like two years ago before everything happened. Those are like, like I still rewatch those all the time. What's on your summer bucket list? So many things. I actually have it um, all written out. <laughs> Me and my kids made this one night when I was babysitting them and I'm, oh, there's 50 things on it. I'm just so excited. So we're gonna do a, I'm gonna make a full, summer bucket list video because I want it for like my own sake just looking back on beach swims picnics 
fruit field, strawberry picking, catching fireflies. There's a lot. There's a lot here. Um, I just want to like go to the beach every day. <laughs> when was slash is your last day of school? I'm done. We're on summer. It's very exciting. My last day was, I think my last official day of the semester was May 14th. I had my last final on the 11th. Since then, I've just been vibing. <laughs> so yeah, summer vlogs officially have started, summer videos, all of that fun stuff, but... Netflix recommendations. I am not the person to ask for this. Um, I literally rewatch the four movies I just mentioned and Outer Banks. That's pretty much it. Um, that's good. I don't think I, I haven't watched anything else on Netflix. I'm not very cultured in that area. <laughs> okay, last one because this video is getting obscenely long. Future plans. <sighs> See, here's the thing. I used to be the plan it all out. Like, I had my entire life mapped out and I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And as I've come to like experience different things and take different classes, I realized that I don't want to do any of what I thought I was going to do for the rest of my life. So I've decided that planning things is not for me. I am not organized. I do not plan well. I am a like spur of the moment. I can't think about it too much beforehand because <laughs> then it'll like make me anxious. So I don't necessarily have like a plan at all at all but I do know that I want to experience different cultures and travel the world and meet new people and live in different parts of the world so yeah I, I have no idea how anything is going to turn out as of right now which this could change this could change I could move tomorrow I could move in a year I don't know but as of right now I'll leave for South Carolina in January. Um, I might leave in the fall. I don't really know. My dad and I were talking about it like if I left in August then I would just... I don't know. There, There's a lot of different variables. Um, I'm gonna move to Charleston and go to school there and then from there know what I want to do because they have a lot of different like study abroad programs but then I might just like move like Europe for like a year I don't know <laughs> that's like the nice thing though you know like you are we have I have like my entire future to figure out what I want to do so <sighs> so that's gonna be all for this Q&A summer kickoff video I'm so excited <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go lay in the sun now and just Soak it all up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you are not already because I will be doing like, I'm going to try and post like three, four times a week. Yeah, follow me on Instagram if you are not, Pinterest, uh, what else? I think that's all. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and an amazing start to your summer. <sighs> we have so much to look forward to. Okay, I love you. Mwah.